out here. So what I've got here is probably about uh, 15 to 20 pounds of salmon. Maybe it's not quite 20 pounds. I took that and I made a real simple brine. I'll include that in the link here. Pretty much just soy sauce, brown sugar, water, onion powder, garlic powder, some Tabasco and black pepper. I brine that for about three hours and that's all I'm gonna let it go. And now we're gonna set it out on racks here and i've got a couple of little fans right here i'm going to dry it to the point where it just kind of starts to skin over a little bit and from what i'm told that helps it actually take the smoke a little bit better so then it will go from here into the smoker and from the smoker into jars for canning let's get at it Okay, we will let that get a good skin over it. And meanwhile, I think I'll go get the smoker ready. So we are ready to smoke it. Uh, not really sure how long this takes. Phyllis actually did it the last time while I was fishing. So I'm gonna let it go. I'll come back and check it in probably half hour or so. And uh, we'll see if we can get it on the smoker. On the smoker, we'll run it for probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours before we can it. This is after about uh, two and a half, three hours of smoke, which the salmon is not done at that point, but I'm only smoking it to add to the flavor a little bit. So I'm gonna call that good. And now, as you can see here, I'm going to heat up my lids. I've got my pressure canner set up. Just a disclaimer, make sure you read the instructions on your pressure canner, um, they can be quite dangerous if you don't do things right. Um, what I'm gonna do, these are wide mouth pint jars and I will, I will pack those as tightly as I can with fish, leaving one inch headspace. I will wipe the rim of each one with uh, vinegar and I'll put the lids on. Now, I'm not worried about sterilizing the jars. I'm not worried about sterilizing the rings. That process will happen during the pressure canning that will be at uh, 10 PSI for 110 minutes. Now, the only thing you do wanna worry a little bit about is the lids themselves. And the lids will, I'll get the water boiling here before they go on the sterilized lip edge from the vinegar everything else will take care of itself so i guess let's get started
Hello, this is Adam. And Phyllis. From Alaska Cut the Cord. I hope you enjoyed our little video there of smoking and preserving salmon. As you can see behind us, uh, it was a it was a pretty good pretty good effort this year. But once the fish are caught, that's when the work begins. So um, we are lucky enough and fortunate enough to take part in Alaska's bounty. Uh, that we will have some good eats here all winter long. Oh yeah, we've already. Um, there were a lot more cans or jars of salmon, but. Yeah, there were a few more. We've actually uh, really enjoyed the smoked salmon eating it. And uh, we've given some to some friends, uh, Rob, Rob and Sarah over at Kamajian, and some friends at work. So um, just because we got lucky doesn't mean everyone else did. So we do like to share. So hope you enjoyed. This is Adam. And Phyllis. From the last Cut the Cord. Love you, bye.